Hi guys, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about your reading contract. What you're going to do is you are going to go to my NC Ed Cloud like always and then after you log in you're going to click on Canvas. Once you click on Canvas, you are going to click on your reading teacher space. but it's still gonna work the same. Click on reading, click on quarter one reading contract, and then it says click here for contract. And always make a copy, it's the only button on the screen. And then let it load, takes a second. All right, so then the lovely reading contract is going to come up and it has all of your directions. Read through the directions carefully. I am not going to insult your intelligence by reading the, the directions, but I will tell you this part in the middle that says failure to turn in the reading contract is a zero. Five books and below is a one. Six to seven different books within the nine week span is a two. And eight to nine different books would be a grade of a three. And if you read more than nine books, you cannot get a four. You can only get a three. All right. So it has parent signature, child signature. That's kind of hard to do um, during this time. But the parent can type their name and the child can type their name. And we all just use some sort of cursive, I suppose, some sort of cursive font. But you're going to get down here to the bottom. And here's the start of my example. So the date that I completed the book, I put in here, the name of the book, the author of the book, how many pages the book has, and then it says parent signature. So what you can do is you can wait until the end. So let's say I finished my next book on 9-11-2020. All right, the name of my book is the... Adventures of Miss Mevin, which is not a real book, but we just need something to go here. The author is Miss Mevin, and the number of pages, um, 400, and let's say the number of pages is 222. All right, so if the book that you read is more than I believe, I don't know, it says it in the directions. Let me stop guessing, I'm sorry guys. Yes, if your book has more than 200 pages, it can count as two books. So since The Adventures of Miss Mevin is 222 pages, it can count as two books. Now, you don't have to put on here that it counts as two books, we know. So you can just say, okay, I only have two lines filled in, but the second book counts as two books. So Miss Mebbin and Miss Styles and Miss Bowling and Miss Seagrove are already gonna know that that right there is three books done. So once I have filled out my whole reading contract, um, your parent can, if they want to, sign the parent box with um, cursive font, their name, but what we really need them to do is after the whole reading contract is finished, we need them to message us on class tag or Canvas or email and tell us that you have actually read all of the books on the reading contract. As long as whoever you live with, your mom, your dad, your guardian, your grandma, your aunt, lets us know that you have finished the whole entire reading contract, then all of your books will count. If we don't get that message from your parent or your guardian, then those books won't count. So now let's say that I'm finished and I want to submit it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click share in the top right hand corner, it's blue. And then what I am going to do is I am going to go down to the bottom where it says change link. I'm gonna click that. And I'm gonna click on anyone with the link. And then after I do that, I'm going to click copy. 
After I click copy, I'm going to go back to my reading contract and up here it says submit assignment. So I'm going to click submit assignment. And then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click website URL and I'm going to paste it here and then I'm going to click submit assignment. But I'm not going to actually do it because I'm the teacher. So you would click here and then you would be done. All right, guys, thanks for watching our reading contract video.